Hey folks, Quilly Keen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. In the last episode we discovered apparently the humans had gone and defeated the goblins is what it kind of looks like to me. So now all we'd have to do is make the humans bend the knee to us. And I think we're pretty set up for it. We've got our full squads of fully armored people. Hopefully they look real scary. We've already had one site successfully just bend the knee to us, so that's good. I, I think we're going to send them out now. I think that was the plan at the end of the last episode, wasn't it? Things are feeling okay. We still have like ridiculous amounts of stuff stored up in the trade depot, mostly infinite leather bins from that insane purchase. On the other hand, again, we have all the leather we need for the rest of the game, so I guess that's okay. Uh, internally, we do have one cranky dwarf. Uh, oh, bismuth bronze weapon. This keeps being a problem. Richie here. Should Richie just have an accident? Their love of bismuth bronze is kind of a problem. Just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, let's go to the world map. So this is the actual human capital. Probably. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, no, same civilization. Never mind. And this was the goblin capital, which was taken over by the humans. Tell you what, I want to go for this fortress here. 300 people. We're going to see if this works. So we're going to send our four melee squads, heavily armored melee squads. We're going to say demand, surrender, and occupy. We want them to bend the knee. Let's see if this works. All right, there goes the squad. Wow, almost right away, although we'll see if the, we have any lingerers like last time. Yeah, and it doesn't help that this heavy armor is slowing them down so much, but it is pretty good. You know, let's let's not argue. The heavy armor is like very successful. Oh, oh yes, we made a buckler. That's right. Hmm, we did read that last time, right? No, or maybe we didn't. Elder withered the mute shells. Bronze buckler. I don't remember if we read this out loud. Bomberek phantom armor, the dwarf and giant. Ah, uh, that actually seems familiar. So maybe we did do that. Let me go and clear all these alerts and just to see if there's anything else going on in the moment. Or just nothing's queued up at any of these right now. Are those jobs all really in a complete version? We're making blocks. Yeah, everything's in this dot 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 state. We're caught up on everything is what it looks like. Which is kind of crazy to think about. So our population appears low here because of course we did just send out a bunch of dwarfs. Um, it feels like perhaps... Yeah, JMath is still here. Filling water skin before leaving. Well, that's fairly fair. But for rusty skills, because of course you've been mostly in the military. All right, I don't hate that. That's not too much of a problem. Melt a metal object four has been completed. I think we've got a lot of meltables ready to go. Yeah, so that it's four per day that we do. They should they should go through it. Although what I could do um, is I could just put in over here a melt metal object job on repeat. That's the one from the orders. That's the one I just queued up. So same thing here. I'll make a couple of these and put them on repeat just so that they keep... Oh, we have agitated animals for the very first time. Now, what makes the agitated animals? Is it chopping down trees that agitates them? Oh, and the agitation count went down. Agitated gray langurs, which are apparently some sort of monkey. Okay. So they might be semi-aggro. Although they seem to be relaxing. Oh, they're getting caged. That's what's happening. Now, I'm assuming what's going to happen is some of these are going to... Some, some things are going to see the, the monkeys and then run away or potentially fight them if they're in the military. Hopefully no real injuries from anyone. Yeah, see, interrupted by agitated gray langer. So there might be a little bit of that. I could, since there's still one on the map, I'm gonna go and activate the civilian alert real quick. Just pull everyone inside. Make sure no one's outside for a sec. Hopefully that last one over here. Where are you going, buddy? Follow you. Yes. No, walked into the trap. There we go, thank you. Perfect. All right, we can clear this. They've all been captured now. Oh, the Fortress of Pagelands is nearly days travel to the Northeast has been conquered and incorporated into your holdings. This works way too well. Pizza Metrist has been appointed to the position of diplomat of the special peaceful razors. Spesser has been appointed to the position of outpost liaison. Has been Ziggity Zigzag has been elected to the position of sacred bud. Okay, a little bit of a shuffle around. So if we want our squad back, Oh, some of these. Oh, there we go. We can request anyone, but I want to request the ones that are nicknamed. That's what I want. 
Some of these might not even be dwarves. Although these are seeming like dwarfy names. But yeah, everyone who's nicknamed, send them back. Which... That's interesting. That's definitely not 30 dwarves. That's definitely not 30 dwarves. Or 40 dwarves. And 40 is how many we left there. Okay, well, let's start with that request. I'm waiting for the population number to bump up again to show that they're there. We can do a follow-up. Maybe we'll just ask for just randoms. Oh, did some of them die? Well, no, they, they theoretically just bent the knee. Sage seized page lanced, surrendered, defeated, and the human was beheaded by JP406 to 760. And we had some spoils as well. We specifically target bismuth bronze spoils because that would f fix a few errors or a few issues we have. Dangy just gave birth to a child. Oh, how nice. Missions, you're still there? Yeah, okay. Nomad might not have left the map yet. That might be what we're seeing here. All right. Well, apparently that was a trick to world conquest the whole time. Just look scary and have them GG out. Because, yeah, we can just repeat this over and over and over again now. Oh, population just went up. So now presume if I do this and I check missions, yeah, it's in red. Now, if I go back over here and we scroll down, yeah. I wonder what happened to some of our military. Are they just... Did they just retire? Maybe, maybe they did a, maybe they migrated somewhere else after that, from that fortress to one of the others, but maybe not to me. Or maybe there's a migration wave incoming here. In any case, that does disrupt our military and is going to require that we reassign everything and probably make a bunch of new equipment now if they're not coming, which is a bit annoying. All right, I'm not going to worry about sorting for leadership. You must have had a job before. Which is why you're like that. All right, limbs of silver, at least they're fully kitted out right away. But then, yeah, we start to run out of trained dwarves. Okay, yeah, you're equipping yourself. <coughs> You'll be fine. Okay, well, I guess in order just to make sure we've got raw numbers, I'm going to go over here and I will ask... Oh, they must be a married couple or a child. So how many fit on one screen full? Five, 10, 12. Okay. That one, 24. And I don't want to take all of them. We're going to stop around here. Okay, done. Go and request for more. Fill up our population. And yeah, they won't be skilled, but I guess it's going to be okay. And yeah, apparently they also won't be equipped. So presumably we're going to want to kickstart a bunch more armoring jobs, which should have already happened, unless we really did have a ton to spare. Because these troops should go... Like, these guys here should be grabbing their equipment. If I, if I click on you, no, it just brings up this. Um, if we take a look at, say, let's say Jack Jacoby, just pick one from the middle. You're watching a demonstration. Have you equipped yourself? No. If I say update equipment, will that force you to go and equip yourself immediately? Just because I want people to pick it up so it restarts our automated jobs. We'll see. How's our population? Okay. No, the new people haven't arrived yet. But in terms of danger, I mean, I guess this goblin fortress still has tons of people in it. That would be the next thing. This is a human castle, 40 pops, 40, 30. All these, I would assume, auto bend the knee. We're going to do this one more time against the goblin capital, what well, used to be the goblin capital, and see if that works. And if it does, that'll be, that'll be us calling it a success. 
for this particular run, having achieved all the goals that we wanted to, uh, taken over the world. Yeah, there's a couple of scragglers out there, but you know that they're they're irrelevant, and that'll be done in time. Okay, we're still waiting for these mission to go. Did I not assign Nomad? All right, let's see what happens here. And also that list was weirdly empty. Nomad making request. Are you leaving properly? Not doing the thing where you get weirdly stuck? No, you're going. You're tired though. Oh, you're going for a drink. See, that's legit. Get a drink, get some food, although you were almost off the map. Sleep if you need it. Maybe I should have given you more time off, but oh well. This is ready to smash. We've got some random cage monkeys. Traps are all back. This is all feeling good. What's interesting, if a human raid came now, it'd probably be like 95% goblins, just based on population counts. Why are you so slow? Oh, you're attending a meeting. With presumably our mayor. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. Okay. Nomad, how you doing? Back to make a request. You are, you see, you're stressed. Okay, you left the map. Good. And the trip doesn't take too long, so we should theoretically see our number come back up in a sec. Went down from 171 to 170 as Nomad left the map. Militia captain, yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay. Tin Knights has been incorporated. Out of curiosity. What is the... Tin Knights. It said northeast, but we're here. Oh, no, we're here. Yeah, okay, northeast, that is legit. Uh, no workers available. When we get our, our um, messenger back, I want to check those holdings. Actually, I should check all of mine to see if we have any named dwarves at any of the other holdings, because maybe they're migrating from site to site. And I'd love my named dwarves back because, I mean, we've been training them up, and it would be great to get their skill again. Okay, you've done that. Our messenger is back, presumably, but what, alone? And people like refuse to come or I wonder if more people are moving out. You're going to pick it up equipment. Okay. I don't want to send you out right away. Cause I kind of feel like you might need some time off. But yeah, if we take a look. Oh no, they don't have any workers available to, to give us. That's what's going on. So I can't click on that. And this one over here, no workers. So this one does have workers, but yeah, no one, no one with their names. Oh, making those null requests. Remove that. I don't think they arrived. Something weird. So I realize now the last time when I was clicking on this, it was generate. We were generating a, a, a request for no particular people. Oh, Fist McSlambone. We could bring you back here. Actually, it might be okay. Although you're just one. Yeah, I don't know. We're not getting our peeps. Okay, well... Uh, that's not the button I want to click. I want to click here. Do we have people? A Lord Warfire has been acting as a hunter. I guess we'll... Oh, we got a random migrant wave. I wonder if that might be what happened. I wonder if we had a migrant wave on the way that prevented the new people from joining us because the game was already like, oh, those numbers are going to be skewed. Although, wouldn't it just cancel the migrant wave? I don't know. At this point, as long as we've got some just... Just some extra people around that we can draft. I think it's going to be all right. So something weird is happening. You can see I've let some time pass by over here. I've tried a couple more times to send out my messenger. And, oh, Pizza Metris is here. As I say, and extract the last of the workers in some of these areas. Um, but they, they just don't show up. Even when they're here, I requested a bunch and they've never arrived. Our population's gone up a little bit from a couple of little micro microwaves, but that's it. The other thing you'll notice, it's mid-autumn here. I didn't, didn't get a trade caravan this season. I don't know why. There's no siege. I have no idea why there wouldn't be a trade caravan, but there wasn't. Which is a shame because I was hoping to get some just more metal just to speed things along. But in any case, our squads are mostly filled up. Actually, I think they are entirely filled up at this point. Let me just check this last one here. Yeah. 
So we got a few people that haven't even been nicknamed yet as this migrant wave is still being processed over here, but okay, we have this ore that's causing us issues. Which one is it that might be fighting? This one? It's got a name. Are you a pet? You're definitely the one that's fighting. Okay. Hang on. Let me get these squads here. We're just going to go and attack this thing. Because, yeah, it's going out. It's not fully tamed. You'll notice we don't have any more boars. I decided to just go ahead and butcher them. Because I wasn't going to put them to use. And every time they broke their, um, their tame status, they were causing issues. Just like that. So we'll go and take that, taking get that taken care of. So it's fine. I just turned auto butcher on for everything, but I guess it didn't work for you because you weren't actually tamed, and you're just causing us some issues. Hey, we get some combat expertise, some combat training for our squads over here. They're still getting themselves kitted out. We've got a few complaints about a lack of steel bars because we've uh, I went and had to recreate a million suits of armor and things. So we burned through our steel supply quite aggressively. Hopefully, get it back. I wouldn't mind being raided just to get some goblinite here, although. Theoretically, our you know our squads aren't fully kitted out, so I guess I wouldn't want them to fight. But I I don't know I'd probably put up with it. We're gonna let a little bit more time go here, just to try to get these squads equipped, and then we're gonna send them out on our final raid. So yeah, not much going on. Oh, I did get an artifact while y'all were away. Flax packed over here is thirteen thousand dwarf bucks. This is a tetrahedrite great. It's a great great. All crafts worship is of the highest quality. It's encrusted with round magnetite cabochons and encircled with bands of oval tetrahedrite cabochons and pear wood. The object is adorned with hanging rings of clear tourmaline and menaces with spikes of rock crystal, giant wild boar leather, and bayberry wood. On the item is an image of Shockdim, the stern virtues, the brass crossbow in giant wild boar bone. On the item is an image of Flax Pack, the tetra tetrahedrite great in pig iron. It's a recursive artifact that has a picture of itself on it. Awesome. But yeah, we've got the got no one to sell all of our fat loots to. And we certainly do have a lot of like very fancy mugs, but no trade caravan has come. <laughs> Is it because hold on, this just occurred to me. Is it possible it's because n there's no independent dwarven site on the map? Are they all part? But that was already the case because we were the capital. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. I also don't know why we're not we weren't getting all of our people back post raid. There's some sort of I don't know, some sort of black hole in our island. Could be. Let's take a look at our groups of peoples over here. Let's do a detect conflict, update equipment. Yeah, it does feel like we're missing a few a few pieces of gear. Oh, big swarm of units making a move here. And yeah, the lack of steel, it's not for lack of raw material. It's just we're having to make the steel because we've just run through it all. Uh, we did run a little bit low on the flex material over here, the dolomite. So over on this floor here, which had, and you had dolomite, uh, and I put a bookmark here, I started covering out a big area, although some of it is mudstone. But that's a lot of dolomite now, and if need be, we'll just keep carving out more of that. That's some agitated animals again. Hopefully they don't cause any real problems. Maybe I should retreat my people back inside again. Uh, any combat with resistant combat? Oh, are those the educated ones this time around? Yep. All right. Although if they agitate over here, they might, yeah, they might just get archerized. Not that I see my archers in here. You're on staggered training, which actually is fine. I've got concentrating on the others because they're fresh and new and they've got to get their crap together ASAP. But the archers are old hands. They don't need to train constantly. Just get rid of the combat notification, see if they come back here. But we've got no more agitated creatures, so theoretically we're okay. Anyone end up in the hospital? No. Okay. We're worried right, because you're in the bed, but you're just watching a demonstration. So that's fine. Cross training more doctors so that we have something to spare. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You are still. You still don't have a weapon. Okay. I mean, we do have the spear job. Just to make sure, I will go and order steel spear 
times 10, so just a one-time job there. So 10 more steel spheres, although we're still going to be limited by our lack of steel at this time, which is one of the reasons I'm sort of hoping to get a trade caravan so that maybe we'd trade some, but no. But, you know, we keep manufacturing our own. We still have plenty of... Oh, there's some magnetite. I don't know how much of it we've got, but we clearly still have some, so that's good. I can make part of this... I could the stockpile I could shrink it and make one that's specifically for magnetite just to make sure it's got room for that so I don't actually think we're not really smelting the magnetite itself now I think we still have tons of iron from melting down yeah 562 iron bars wow just from mag melting down smelting down all that magnetite or the goblinite right the random gear that the goblins had showed up for also the big trade caravans we melted down tons of stuff made out of iron well and other things too um so we've got plenty of that the only thing we need to do is convert and steel which is a complicated process because you go to pig iron and then you combine the pig iron uh to make the steel so even if you've got the raw iron there's a there's a few steps still to go to get the steel bars to finish our demands here this these steel gauntlets i'm is that oh no it is in the queue because i had asked i did a bulk job of 10 helmets 10 gauntlets 10 greaves 10 male shirts i didn't do breastplates uh because i thought we might have had enough of those um but those are gone they're not in the list so the fact that the gauntlet job is here is an represents an actual shortage of those things okay, we've made some spears which is good Training is going there. Some of them are a little salty from probably too much training, but so be it. They're still going to go ahead and send them out soon. How's your gear going? It's not great. And I don't know if I should be making backpacks and uh, wineskins for them. I don't like that, you know, it's complaining about a shortage here. Ah, what the heck? You know what? We'll add it in. Um... Leather water skin. You know we have lots of leather. Leather backpack. Boom. Uh make uh make up to five a day. If we have fewer than ten. Empty flasks under ten. Empty backpacks under ten. There we go. For good or for ill, we'll go ahead and get those sorted out. I don't think they're really necessary. I think the backpacks mean they can carry meals with them. I think the flat, the water skins obviously means they can carry some liquid with them uh, in case they get thirsty on the go. I don't think it affects their travel or anything like that. But maybe it's a good thing. Are all our traps done up here? Okay, a couple more missing, but that's it. We're the, me the mechanisms we only make like a couple a day, so um, might take a little while to do that when I'm doing traps in bulk, but that's okay. That's not the end of the world. If ever we needed to build a bunch of traps really quickly, I could just order up like 50 mechanisms or something to be done in bulk real quick, just to make sure. They don't take that long to build, so I'm not I'm not really worried. I guess we don't have any bars and blocks sitting on the surface either. Okay. Um, let's close that and see what kind of other alerts come up. Actually, we're going to go ahead and close all these and see what happens. Now, I think we did miss a production mandate. Oh, well, maybe not. Well, I was going to say no, because you don't have a business bronze weapon rack. So at some point, Richie is going to go and require that we punish someone, which is annoying. But hopefully it won't cause too many issues. I'm sad. No trade caravan. All through autumn, no trade caravans. It's not like we need it, although it would have been kind of convenient. Let me just check my logs here. I noticed the number had gone down a little bit. Okay, 85. That's not too bad. Just because our area for auto chopping is kind of empty. Um, and I didn't want to assign more. And there's still some out on the surface too. But you know what? We'll go ahead and say, cut down these, this, that. Leaves are falling right now. Cut those. There. Okay. Keep a steady supply of wood coming in. I don't know what we're consuming the wood for right now. Don't assume it's not going to be the wood burners. All right, these wood furnaces we don't need that because we don't really need raw charcoal. We need to, I think we need some of it for the steel making process, right? Not to fire the smelters, but I think to introduce carbon. So there might be a little bit there. I don't think we're making any beds. I guess we're making wooden shields. Maybe that consumed a bunch of it. 
because the material of the shield doesn't really affect its um, usefulness, although it does affect its durability, but wooden shields are lighter, and therefore, you know, we're trying to keep the uh, the dwarven weights down. I think the metal ones might slow them down if they don't have, ar I like the armor skill, but the wooden ones don't, because they're below a certain threshold. Uh, need three steel bars, yep. Yeah. The breastplates make sense. Everything else is okay. Yeah, quickly making the water skins and backpacks. Greaves job got done, although it could restart if people go and equip it, and then we need some more. How are the spears? Okay, my one-time spear job finished. And I think, I can't remember, do I have a regular spear job going on? That's like on repeat or anything. God, I'll never find it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I kept doing it on demand. But if I'm going to keep equipping my military with spears, maybe I just want to keep 10 around at any given point. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Steel spear. Um, Make, you know, up to a couple a day. Actually, I'll do it like the other jobs. Make up to five. If you have fewer than 10, that's going to be okay. Now, I'm not putting in a filter in there for steel, so we will get the, the alerts complaining about the lack of it. Ooh, possessed! Captain Semtex is possessed. Okay. Taking my mood. Nothing to catch in the swamps, that's fine. Spear Dwarf. Leather clothing, which is actually part of our armor as well. So that might be useful for our groups. Claim the Magma Forge. Excellent. Again, our um, our weaponsmithing guild, I think, can continue to pay off huge dividends here. Although I'm not sure a zinc weapon is the way we want to go. But whatever. More steel bars go. I'm not seeing anything crossed out right now, which is kind of nice. Although I suspect there might still be some jobs that are falling short on the amount of steel they need. Maybe I should just get more smelters. I'd need more furnace operators as well. And we've got like eight dwarves assigned to it right now, so I think that's probably plenty. More dolomite is being delivered from our little dig site here. Not feeling the need to dig out any more. Needs potash for fertilizer stuff. That's fine. I think we've got a job to make some, but maybe it's not made made enough. Again, if only this was searchable. Mm, potash. I mean, I could just queue up something else. Potash. Oh, actually, this is probably where our wood's going. First of all, I'm going to change this. We might not just be making it enough. But let me change this to, like, make up to five a day. And keep a larger amount. Keep, like, 50, because we do have quite a lot of farms. Oh, and if ash is greater than four... That means it has at least five. Um, I should check the ash job as well. Make ash. So similarly, make up to five a day. And we'll increase this number for a bigger buffer. If you've got more than 30, keep at least 30 ash around. So you've got a buffer for the pot ash jobs and things. Okay, Mysterious Construction has started. What did you collect over here, buddy? Just zinc bars and raw green, green glass. That is not going to be the world's most impressive artifact. I'm sorry, Captain Semtex, but it's a little on the disappointing side. Not going to deny that. We really caught up on our steel making jobs. Okay, we'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to grab all of our squads again, go to equip. We'll do the detect conflicts, update equipment and see what they do with themselves. Big move over here. And then maybe it'll be time to send them out again for our final time trying to get the bend the knee. We'll visit the old goblin fortress, the dark fortress, which is now controlled by humans, and we'll see what happens. But we will give them a chance to go and try to get their gear one more time here. They're not extensively trained, although we have at least one squad of uh, very experienced ones. Limbs of Silver, these guys are really, really experienced. So fingers crossed that that's going to be enough. Oh, we got lots of iron bolts, that's for sure. Like, should I remelt some of those? A zinc table? Okay. 
Okay, no plump helmet seeds, that's fine. Let's take a look at this zinc table. So, Ushil Balad, Migrul Kol Berdan. Ice coils, the oceanic wheels of walking. Good name. 2100 dwarf bucks. We knew it wasn't going to be worth a ton because it didn't have a ton of ingredients. This is a zinc table. All crafts warship is of the highest quality. This object menaces with spikes of green glass. That sounds dangerous. On the item is an image of a serpent man in zinc. Okay, you know what? Style points, I'll give you that. Okay, we're still trying to catch up on our actual steel here. Yeah, make some more spears. So we clearly have under 10 spears in storage. Doesn't mean we don't have enough to equip all our dwarves, although there's still a good chance. Actually, they do have their weapons. They're waiting on a few other gear slots. I guess our helmet situation. Now, we should have a steel helmet job. Yeah, right over here. Not running. Not a steel helmet's less than five. Not satisfied. So we have... We have five or more helmets sitting around. Our dwarves are just not grabbing them? Or maybe they're still in the process of equipping themselves. I don't know, that's like a lot of blank here. Maybe it's another conflict thing that we're going to have to reset. Or I just send them out as is and say, you know what? Screw you guys. You don't have any head protection? It's, no, it's okay. It's just because you're your main characters in a movie. You know, main characters in movies never wear helmets. It's very important. I understand why. So you, you can see the actor's face. You know who, you know, you recognize the big stars that people are paying for. Also, if everyone's wearing helmets, it can be hard to differentiate one person from another. You might lose track of things. But it is like, it is pretty funny. The cop, I always find cop shows are the worst for that, right? There'll be a raid on like some drug warehouse or something like that. And the SWAT team's there. And those guys are in like full body armor and ready to go. But who actually leads them in to the warehouse? You know, Mr. Joe detective star person who doesn't even look like they're wearing a bulletproof vest. They're certainly not wearing any uh, head, eye or ear protection. They've just got themselves a little pistol as opposed to the. Um, you know, the automatic weapons of the SWAT guys. But, you know, no, no, of course, like, main character detective has to be out in front. You know, could, could you grab a riot shield or something? Like, do something, dude. Uh, anyway, you, you know why it's like that, but... Man. It really doesn't make much sense. For fantasy settings, I worry about it less, even though it's still like, well, you should be wearing a, a helmet, my dude. But, you know, it's the, the more detached from reality it is, the more I'm willing to forgive it. But the cop shows who are trying to be like super gritty, like if Brooklyn Nine-Nine does it, like, yeah, it's fine. It's, you know, mostly a comedic thing. But if you're trying to be a super gritty cop show, come on, get your helmets on. So speaking of, they still have not. So I guess we'll do just in case. All right. Resolve conflicts, update equipment one more time. See, these aren't turning yellow immediately, though. Right? Yellow means they've claimed the equipment, they just haven't put it on yet. Why are you not wearing your helmets? Oh, okay. Headwear. Steel helms. Okay. Yeah, the problem with the stocks view is the stocks view includes things people are wearing, which is not helpful. But presumably... Uh, what if we come down here? The armor stockpile. Okay, we have another arm, ar armor stockpile on the main floor right over here. Steel helms, steel helms. They definitely exist. I guess they've been told to wear a leather hood first. Is it possible they don't have the leather hoods? We do have the job here to make leather hoods. Triggering. Maybe we don't have enough leather, leather hoods. Maybe that's the problem. Leather hood. Let me request like 30. It's not like we don't have the leather. We know that. We'll do that in bulk. Maybe that's causing an issue. Um, what else is part of their uniform? Because I've noticed some of these guys aren't wearing anything um, on their gloves, on their hands. So they want leather mittens as well as the gauntlets. So same thing. Leather mitten. And again, I'll ask like 30, which will make 60 of them because I make them in pairs. Um, Footwear. They are waiting for the steel high boots. Is it possible I don't have a proper job for that? 
No steel high boots. Yeah, not satisfied, so presumably there are at least five. Although, I'm just realizing, with the high boots, I might want to change the target to ten, because I think even the one job makes two, I think they are counted individually, so we need twice as many boots sitting around. Same thing with some of the gloves and things like that, but... Yeah, we'll power through these hoods and these mittens. We'll hopefully get more high boots being made. Yeah, steel high boots, good. Excellent. And then steel production is continuing, and if we look over here... Okay, we're not getting any more complaints about a lack of steel. People are armed now, so that's good. So we're missing a chest piece want leather cloak everything else seems to be okay maybe i'll just i'll order up a mass amount of leather cloaks as well now one of the issues with some of these is these also count as clothing which means civilians might be grabbing a bunch of these and just you know kind of getting in the way so we want to overkill the amount we make just so that there's plenty for the civilians and other people i mean i'm not going to begrudge civilians from putting on cloaks cloaks are cool who wouldn't want one wish i could get away with that in real life Leather hood job completed. That was quick. Forge steel high boots five has been completed. All right. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to go for it. I think they do equip themselves before they go. So it'll give them one last chance to go and do it. The so world map. Ooh, the population dropped a bunch. This dark fortress. That's interesting. Or just their numbers are. I'm going to send even the archers. We're going to send everyone. Demand, surrender, and occupy. Which is going to be a little annoying because it's going to like possibly lose us all of our all of our military. But this is going to be our grand finale. If it works or it doesn't work, this is going to be the, en the end of our run. Because at that point, again, other than a few scragglers and some underpopulated outposts, we will control the entire the entire world. It's a tiny world. It's a pocket world but we'll have all of it. All right. Tur What's it called? Torment. Torment smoldered or torment smoldered. The S could go either way. It could be torments that moldered. It's probably torment smoldered though. I was going to say no one unhappy. I bet you the unhappy dwarf is in the military just because they're not getting enough time off. They're slowing heading out. And yeah, start making more steel armor because we're going to need a restock of it probably after this. Oh man, oh man. All right, so we're in 52. I guess this, I was going to say, when this number goes up, we know the raid will finish, but that's not true. I guess we'll get a pop-up saying that it's been, it's joined our empire. Or we'll see the number shoot way up. Uh, I guess more military people are still leaving. Or we'll see the number shoot way up as our military comes back having been unsuccessful. That's the other possibility. You can see the difference in speed between some of the military people when they leave, right? There were some of them who were moving slow and some of them are quite speedy. Presumably if they, are, they get their armor skill or maybe some of them don't have, you know, breastplates or greaves or something slowing them down. That's entirely possible as well. Well, we've mostly got them equipped. Sort of, mostly, kind of. Yeah, sure, let's pretend. 145. Mission is still there. Oh, this request is still here. Let me explicitly cancel that. Still here. Nothing exciting in our traps. No more goblinites for us. Although, again, our iron bars. Although, I bet you this count has gone down a bunch. Look at bars, iron bars. Yeah, because we were at 500 and some. So, yeah, we're definitely consuming our iron bars, but we still have so much stored up. We really don't need goblinite. Still a little bit upset we didn't get a trade caravan. That was too bad. It would have been useful. Yeah, other than that, everything's going well. People are in a mostly fine moods. It helps, of course, that we went and engraved all their bedrooms. So they're getting good thoughts from that. They've got very impressive dining halls. All right, if you take a look at your thoughts over here. Honest, interested, proud. Yeah, these performances are going really well. Euphoric due to inebriation. And then bored. Oh, you want to do martial stuff. And lonely after being away from family too long. I mean, have your family meet you up over here. 142 pop. That was another drop, so I'm assuming a few more military dwarves just left, right? This wasn't it something like 146 last time I looked up? I feel like it was. Oh, there's another right here. We got someone else who still hasn't gone. Bunisher. Hasn't Bunisher been the slowpoke in the past? Oh. Bunisher can't stand up. 
I'm so sorry, Bunisher. We should really remove you from the military. Wow. You got this, buddy. You can crawl across the entire, I was going to say the entire known world. It is literally the entire world. This is the entire world over here. I mean, I guess conceivably we're just, we're just an island in the middle of an ocean and we don't know about the rest of the world, but for our purposes, it is the entire world. Or Bunisher. Okay, down to 140. So went from 142 to 140. So Bunisher wasn't the only slowpoke. I guess what I could do, um, because I've got to set when I make a new squad or when I'm trying to recruit someone to a squad, I've got the filter where people with bad um, bad health issues will will not be selected, uh, which is good. You know, we, so we don't want someone who can't stand up in the military if at all possible, because that doesn't sound like it's going to be good for anyone, um, except I suppose the people who are trying to attack us. So maybe what I could do, since there's no clear and easy way for me to go and just remove people injured, I could go and kick everyone out of the military or like disband all the military and then rebuild it. Although I think the dwarves get a bad thought from being kicked out. I don't remember. However, the fortress of Torment Smoldered, nearly a day's travel to the north, has been conquered and incorporated into your holdings. I had no idea this would be so easy. Yep, there it is over here. And we could go and try to ask for our dwarves back, whether or not they come back, who knows? I have no idea what's going on with them and their unwillingness to necessarily return here. But yeah. At least this time, I mean, we are seeing all of our named dwarves. Our named dwarves didn't suddenly disappear. And they have come back previously. Okay, I'm going to leave one just in case it matters for the site, although I don't think it does. So we'll do that. But at this point of in the game, we've achieved our goals. The last cleanup of those, first, those few sites don't matter. We can either go and try to just burn them down, or if they turn out to have deadly, deadly elephants, we'll just show up and they do that. Oh, Bunisher has claimed the position of administrator of the Furious Wheel. Well, congratulations, Bunisher. I guess Bunisher has been kicked out of the military at this point because all the military has been reset anyway. So, yeah. All right. Mission. Yeah, Nomad is there. Nomad, have you left? Let's just keep an eye out. I just want to see if they come back. Um... How come with Noma, Richie comes up? Oh, because your last name. Okay, so Nomad has gone. And yeah, the round trip really doesn't take very long. Yeah, Incorporated, Plump Helmet spawns, Earth. Yeah, Bunisher. Good for you, Bunisher. I didn't notice. I wonder if Bunisher is even recallable. I don't know if they were in the list or not. Hornet and others have returned. Yeah, numbers coming up. This thing says return. Like, what we did is we requested workers from the site, but maybe because these workers were here previously, the game is reporting them as being returned. Yeah, we'll have to put them back into the military, but we're going to go and we're going to wrap up this run. We are going to call this concluded because our first pocket world didn't really work out. Then I randomly read, I think it was on Reddit. I randomly read, but someone suggesting uh, to someone else trying to conquer these sites, like, um, cause I think I was Googling, like how do you defeat this like demon Lord of a dark goblin fortress? And I think it was a Reddit comment that said, well, just don't fight them. Just go over there and ask very nicely if they'd be willing to bend the knee. And I don't know what goes into the decision. Maybe we've been overkilling it. Maybe a single squad was all it's needed. Maybe a single fully equipped Dwarven squad is sufficient, but I wasn't going to mess around with this. So yeah, we have is a very impressive site. Can we make extra requests from these guys? No, I don't think so. Yeah, most of our dwarves are back. So what I would do here for this, the veiled slivers, um, is for this, I would actually filter for ranged effectiveness because they are ranged dwarves. Although weirdly blank. No, you'd be fine. Yeah, you're coming back in. Okay, no, I'm, I was mis, mis spawning things. Mark's Dwarf, Mark's Dwarf, Mark's Dwarf. You're just armor user. Humpopotamus, we'd want to put you in as a Mark's Dwarf. 
And business casual is actually really good. They are assigned to farming. But I might take them off of farming, put business casual assassin, which you got a great name, into this group. Right? And then um, I'd go to labor, planters, business casual assassin. I'd make sure to remove you from that and just have you go into the military. And then the limbs of sli silver. We want melee effectiveness. And then we could spread it out. But I, I do like the idea that, like, oh, we know for sure that this squad is like a death machine squad. See, interestingly enough, this one here, Digiguide, doesn't have any skill yet, but their base stats are making them better at fighting than Nallard, just because they probably have a little bit of strength or um, injury resistance or something of that nature. So we'd rebuild that. But yes, as I said, this is going to be the end of the run. I'm very happy with it. I think it went swell. I love that we achieved our goals, while at the same time having a very functional fortress where people are very happy. We never breached the cavern layers, so we never fought any forgotten, forbidden beasts, although we did go and take out um, a couple of a colossus or two. Maybe, did one get caged and fought the other one? I don't know, not that many monsters. Admittedly, we didn't run into too many... Uh, too many fights. Uh, we had a few sieges. We had at the start of the run, we had those sieges that instantly disappeared. And uh, someone, I think it was on the Discord, said maybe they were walking from one site to another and just happened to walk through your site. So they were never intending to siege your own place. Maybe that was the case. I don't know. Uh, what is our next run going to be? Probably a larger world. Maybe something with the fact that Adventure Mode is coming to the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress soon. When, when, this new updated version of Dwarf Fortress was made. Uh, they weren't able to have adventure mode at release. They really wanted to focus on Fortress mode, which to be honest, 99% of the time people are playing in Fortress mode, but the adventure mode is really cool. And anyway, soon it's gonna be coming to the Steam release and it might be fun to explore that. And it might be fun to make more of a persistent world, which I'd want, if I was gonna do that, I'd want it in a larger world, you know, a world where maybe we're doing multiple fortresses in it. Maybe we develop more things. Maybe, um, maybe we commit to one of the religions in this world and build something around that in multiple sites. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But thank you very much. Everyone who stuck through to the end of this, really appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.